What's up, what's up, Game Wars Chief Rocky here with another episode of Infinite Lagrange. And I want to talk about farming XP. Alright, so taking a look at this blueprint of this missile corvette, you can see right here the number I'm pointing at right now in gray. This is the level of the actual blueprint. So everything up to level 30 can be XP farmed via pirates. So you can attack pirates and get leveled up. After that, you have to essentially use combat microchips or PVP. And that is kind of where things get a little crazy and you gotta fight other players, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so what I wanna show you right now is how to farm. All right, so on this pre-recorded footage I've done from my phone, you can see I, I have fleets set up by this level one pirate bait. Now you can also see that there are fleets around the pirate base that are already kind of branched out. Now a moment ago I clicked on the base and you saw that it wasn't completely full. That's because these pirate ships are around the base. Okay, so the goal of XP farming these pirates isn't necessarily beating the base down to zero because then it's gone. It's, it's, it's gone forever and you could do that if you want a specific docking point, right? I think this one has the one that gives you more EU point. Okay, I don't want that, okay? What I'm more interested in this point is having my fleets battle it out with the pirate ships themselves. So you can see already I made a mistake where I crossed paths. That's going to cause a pathing problem. I don't know why Infinite Lagrange has a notorious problem with pathing and the ships, but I'm gonna speed this up. Okay, so I really want to emphasize the, the focus on ships, okay? You gain experience with your blueprints through combat with other ships, not through the combat of the bases themselves. So when you're attacking these bases, what you're actually trying to do is draw the ships out. And is, as you see in the video here, some of the ships are already out. So again, you want to focus on the ships. That is your bread and butter with experience. So for example, these ships here are in what we call a blockade. So you can see where it pulled my ship, my fleets in and automatically went into combat. That's perfect, right? Cause that saves me a little bit of time. I go in there and it does all the auto battling itself. Now I continue to go through these blockades and clear them out. Then I position my fleets to the base. So once you are situated at the base, you want to take your tankiest fleet in because as you just saw there, they send out a massive flood of ships. So they're going to focus on the immediate threat and that is the fleet that just attacked the base. That gives you the opportunity to then take your other fleet and then come in to the side and they could start attacking the other fleets from behind. And once all the ships are pretty much done with out of that base and you've pretty much killed all the ships, unless you really want that docking point that that base is on, I suggest retreating. Let the base build its troops back up, which takes about an hour. There's a timer on there. It tells you how long it takes, but it's normally between 45 minutes to an hour. And then you just come back, right? Uh, it starts at level one, level two are pretty good for frigates and destroyers, level three, level four, and so on. And then there's huge like pirate cities that you can attack. And it's super great for XP. Just if you're farming these things, Make sure, please make sure that you don't kill the base. You're going to need that base if you want to continue farming XP up to level 30 and then it's no good for you. So anyhow, I hope this helps. I know this information helped me earlier on. I wanted to make a very short video on this on how to basically get good XP. That's all I got. Chief Rocky out.